Shortly after college, I drained my meager bank account to purchase a 1974 three-quarter ton long bed Chevy pickup. I named her Dusty Rose for the unique shade of primer pink paint that was coating the rusting fenders and hood. She got only seven miles to the gallon, but I needed her heft to haul my also newly purchased 1975 23-foot Airstream travel trailer. I had never hauled so much as a grill before, but I was too caught up in the mystique of the independent woman to heed the doubtful looks my conservative parents gave their artsy liberal daughter. So I set out one cold January morning on my maiden voyage from Atlanta to Phoenix. After four days of a top speed of 55 miles per hour, AM radio, and a diet devoid of vegetables, my confidence waned with the miles. I was 90 miles from Tucson when I lost third and fourth gears, and as the desert sun fell behind the jagged red rocks, all pretense that I actually knew what I was doing sank into the earth as well. I had only one resource left. Shamefully, I called my parents. I sobbed frantically into the phone. From 1,800 miles away came my father's voice. Marie, I would have done everything exactly the way you did it. Banging my head against the steering wheel, I wailed, You wouldn't have bought this truck. I don't know about that, he said. I definitely would have bought your trailer, because it is very cool. And you needed a truck to pull it. And he said, Marie, Sometimes the choices we make aren't bad. They're just wrong. I meant to tell him for so long what those words meant to me. The very last time we spoke, I told him to wait for me. Once again, I banged my head against the steering wheel as I waited all night in my car for the southern Alabama tow truck drivers to wake up and haul me closer to him. But when I did finally make it to the hospital, he could no longer speak. And I had only two things to say. Next message sent Tuesday, April 21st, 2009, at 6.53 p.m. Eastern Time. Hey, Marie, this is your dad. I wanted, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I thought your mom was going to stay on the phone with you longer than that. I hope you're having a great day, sweetheart. It was a blessed, blessed, blessed time when you came into our life. I love you, sweetheart. Bye-bye. End of message. To reply to it, Press 8 to delete this message. Press 7 to save it in the archives. Press 9 to hear more options. Press 0. Resave.